Planning Zoning Commission for the City of Granbury will now come to order at 6 p.m. on Monday, June the 10th, 2024, Granbury City Hall, City Council Chambers. Uh, the first item for business is public comments on agenda items that are non-public hearing agenda items. Do we have anybody who would like to speak? If not, we'll move on to our first uh, public hearing tonight. That's public hearing C1. Consider the request of Chris King for SUP to allow for auto repair, major use, and heavy commercial zoning. The property is located at 4646 East Highway 377. Cody? Thank you, Ms. Chairman. This property is located, like you said, at 4646 East Highway 377, and it is platted at 0.98 acres of the one lot one block one of the Tony and Pam Denton addition, and the SUP is for automotive repair major. It's currently zoned heavy commercial, and for auto repair heavy, is required to have an SUP in heavy commercial, auto repair major. This is the proposed site plan. There's gonna be an addition that's lined out around the rear of the current building or the existing building. <clears throat> and these are the considerations for a SUP permit. And these are the zoning ordinance considerations for regulations. The property is zoned heavy commercial and located on the frontage of U.S. Highway 377 with commercial businesses surrounding the property and the proposed use appears to be appropriate for the general area. And the site is already developed and the new building addition and use will occupy the existing property. Conditions may be recommended and imposed. And on May 30th, city staff mailed out eight public notices to all the property owners within 200 feet on the municipal tax roll within 200 feet of the subject property. Notice was also placed in the Hood County newspaper on May 25th, and as of this time, we have zero letters in favor or against. Staff recommends approval for this SUP, and the voting options for tonight recommendable of the a recommend approval of the SUP as presented, recommend approval of the SUP with conditions, or recommend denial of the SUP. Thank you, Cody. Is the applicant here? And if so, would you like to speak? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm Christine. If you'll come to the oh. microphone and turn it on, please. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I'm Chris King. Uh, I'm one of the owners of the uh, proposed property or the current property. And so I just wanted to uh, thank you guys for the consideration and then specifically Cody, Jennifer, Kara for all the help uh, in getting us to this point. Uh, we are, the, the additions that we're gonna do in addition to the, the current building will also improve the look of the property. We're gonna modernize the outside of it. Uh, it's a 20 year old building that we've purchased. So we're gonna reskin, do everything. That's some of the details, but we're going to basically bring up the looks of the property, not just expand for our specific uses and needs, uh, but it's gonna be a very nice looking building that will present itself very well with everybody coming right in front of us down 377. So just wanna thank you for your consideration and is there any questions I can answer for you guys? Any questions for the applicant? Mr. Moore. Good evening. Good uh, wasn't this a, a repair shop before uh, yes, you all purchased it? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Pam and Tony done. It was T and D Automotive and Transmission. Right. And so we got to know Pam through actually doing business with them. Pam and Tony both. And so they did. <clears throat> they did what would I guess is considered more light repair. I mean, they did oil changes, transmission repair, engine replacements, which is a lot of what we were going to do. We're not going to be like doing. Like oil changes, that's not our thing. Yes, we will change oil in the older cars, but we're basically upgrading older cars, uh, modernizing them with modern drivetrains, say ABS brake systems, things like that, taking some much newer technology and putting it into the older platforms. Because uh, we actually, our base company is, is, we build race cars. And so at the racetrack up in Crescent. And so we're taking a lot of that technology and forward thinking, engineering and such, and gonna be putting that into the older vehicles. So 
So rest of mods. Rest of mods, yes, but to another level is what we'd like to say. But okay. yes, that's, that's the point. Are you going to have any dead vehicles stored on the lot? No, sir. That's the interesting part. That's Cody and I were just visiting about that is that in our industry, we can't leave cars like parked outside because either old, the cars that we're going to be working on either say they don't have windows or they're antique cars. They don't need to be left out in the weather. Right. Same situation we have up at the racetrack with race cars because we have to, everything has to come in every night. And that's one of the big challenges we will have is having to push cars out, work on what we can during the daytime and then push everything back in at night. And so that's part of the consideration for this expansion is so we can operate within the building. And no, we don't have any, we won't be doing dead cars or making a, a, a uh, salvage yard out back. That's not what we do. Okay. And there'll still be plenty of parking for daytime use. Absolutely. I guess. Okay. Absolutely. Plenty. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions for the applicant? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, I've, I'll open the public hearing or we have any uh, speakers that signed up? Kelly? No? Okay. Yeah. Any questions for staff? Commission members? If not, I'll close the public hearing and entertain a motion on the SUP request, please. I'll make a motion to approve as presented. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. The second item on the agenda tonight is C2, a public hearing to consider the request of Ken Dixon to replant lots 45 <coughs> and 46 of the Catalina Bay 2, Phase 1, 0.857 acres, located at 1600 Chesapeake Bay Court. Um, Cody? Typically, y'all won't be seeing any of our platting, but since this is a replat of a residential, that is the one that we still have to take forward to y'all and council for approval. So things like this are more rare, but y'all see them on occasion. This property is located at 1600 Chesapeake Bay Court, and when combined, it's going to be 0.857 acres. It's currently platted as lot 45 and 46 of Catalina Bay to phase one. And the purpose is to combine the two lots for one residential lot and make an accessory addition around the pool, I believe. And it's currently zoned PD plan development with a base zoning of single family residential, 12,000 square foot lots. This is what the plat is, replat is gonna look like. And staff recommends approval of the replat. Voting options for tonight, approve the replat or deny the replat. Thank you, Cody. Is the applicant here? And if so, would you like to speak? No? Okay. I'll open the public hearing. Any questions for staff? Commission members? No audience comments? If not, I'll close the public hearing and entertain a, a, a motion for the only replat request, please. Chair, I move to approve the replat. We have a motion to approve the replat. Do I have a second? I'll second. With a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. I, should, I didn't need to vote tonight. I'm sorry. I wouldn't pay attention. The next item on the agenda. Um, uh, Cody, can we skip ahead to the monthly plat approval and get that out of the way? Skip to D2. Yes. It should there, be fairly short. Can we go to that? We do not have any, any plat approvals as of today. Okay, all right, then that puts us back to D1. Uh, items for discussion. Uh, 2023 Comprehensive Plan Update Progress Report and Presentation of, of Draft Chapter 2 Vision and Goals. Good evening, PNZ. Um, there we go. Uh, good evening, PNZ. Um, we're glad to be back uh, before you tonight. Um, I'm David Jones with uh, Freeze and Nichols. Uh, we're assisting uh, Cody and Kira with uh, drafting the uh, update to the comprehensive plan. Uh, with me also is uh, Connor Roberts and Wendy Bonneau. Connor is going to pass out some uh, supplemental materials uh, to you, including a copy of the presentation tonight um, and a summary of the input that we've received to date since we last came to you a couple of months ago in April. Um, we've had a public open house, um, which some of you attended, as well as a, a public survey. So we got a lot of feedback from that. Um, we had 200 plus responses to the survey. Uh, many of those questions were open-ended questions, so we've got a lot of written responses. We're not going to go through each of those individually tonight. 
Um, we do have a summary that's been uh, provided to you. We'll go through some of the uh, survey responses, uh, including a look at who took the survey, um, kind of where they live in relation to the city, and uh, some of what they said, some of the feedback that they gave us, as well as some of uh, P&Z's feedback. Um, thank you for those who did the, uh, the homework assignment on the goals. Uh, that helped us out a lot with uh, assessing the goals from the current plan. Um, that was one of the questions also that we asked uh, at the open house, so we got some good feedback um, on that. One of the things that we want to kind of work towards as we go through this presentation tonight um, as we look through all of this, this input, we're going to go through it fairly quickly, but it's going to build towards uh, some key themes that came out of that feedback and then uh, some guiding principles that um, use those themes uh, to uh, present um, where we want to go with the, the comprehensive plan update. So we're going to look at that. We're going to kind of build up to that. And then one of the things we want to do uh, tonight once we're done with the presentation, which is really kind of a report to you, um, before we get on with uh, drafting the land use chapter and the transportation chapter, um, which we'll, we'll come back to you with in a couple of months, uh, we want to sit down, uh, do uh, a mapping exercise that's really interactive, uh, that kind of gets some ideas on paper um, as far as uh, land use priorities for the city, as far as transportation priorities for the city. Um, so we've got some maps that you probably noticed uh, as you walked in, uh, some markers on the table, once we get to the end of the presentation, we're going to ask you all to step down from the dais, uh, come, come to the table, and uh, we've got some AV equipment uh, that will keep things on record. Um, and then myself, Connor, and Wendy will kind of hopefully facilitate some uh, good discussion um, around that, mark up those maps, and then we'll take those, scan those, and that will go into building um, our land use maps and transportation maps that we'll come back to you with hopefully in a couple months. So as far as a, an update, um, we are about 25%, 30% of the way through the projects. Um, we've kind of gotten through our uh, initiation and assessment phase. Um, we're getting into um, the input phase, and tonight kind of concludes uh, the public input initial part. Uh, we will go back to the, the public a little bit later on in the, in the project once we have some content drafted, um, and then finalize uh, an adoption. Um, we're still looking at doing that uh, early next year. So here's where we're at on the, the project timeline. I um, want to go through this fairly quickly. There is quite a bit of detailed uh, feedback and get to the key takeaways um, and then get to the guiding principles. Um, we do want to get your feedback uh, on the guiding principles. Um, there's six of them. Uh, so what we kind of hope to do is, is get some, some feedback on that tonight. Do you agree with the guiding principles? Or are those something that we can build on? Because we really want to use those to um, filter our goals uh, for each chapter that, that, we, uh, that we construct um, going forward. So a summary of community input to date. Um, we had our, our workshop with you all um, back in April. And then we followed that up with a, a public open house. Approximately 25 people um, attended the open house. Uh, there were boards set up around the room that people could mark on, put stickers on. Uh, we also had paper surveys so that they could take, as well as a, a computer set up for them to do uh, the online survey. The online survey was a, a big success. Um, it was open between April 18th and May 28th, so a little over a month. We got 205 responses, um, which is largely thanks to the, uh, the work of uh, Kira and Cody and, and Chuck and, and the city's communications team did, did a really great job of uh, publicizing that survey. 205 responses uh, for a community of this size is, is a really good turnout um, and, and really good representation uh, on that part of the feedback. We asked you to uh, review the 2016 plan goals. Um, we also asked that of the open house uh, attendees. The feedback that we got is that most of the goals listed in the 2016 plan are still relevant. Uh, that's something that we need to carry forward to, uh, to the update of the plan. Uh, some of them that could be removed or, or possibly modified had to do with alternative energy sources, um, had to do with um, some of the ways that we handle design uh, and quality of, of neighborhoods. Um, housing sizes and housing types and diversity came up a lot, not only in relation to the goals, but also the general feedback that we received. Um, during uh, our, our April uh, outreach activities. Um, and then make sure that Granbury uh, stays distinctive, that it stays unique. Um, those are kind of some themes that we heard um, over and over again. Um, 
our strengths, um, downtown, historic, uh, historic square, the lake, um, those were running themes that, that came up as far as the city's strengths, no surprise there. Um, some of the challenges, of course, have to do with um, access, with uh, traffic, uh, parking, um, housing affordability or housing availability um, for young families, uh, for professionals. Some of the diversity of employment was something that, that came up a, as a challenge. Um, improving walkability, um, particularly near the downtown square, getting from areas that are adjacent to downtown but are difficult to get to on foot. Opportunities, um, those were largely centered around the, the 377 corridor, the lake, and uh, out near the airport where we still do have a lot of undeveloped land. So keep that in mind as we go into our mapping exercises, we're gonna wanna talk about you know what do we do with that land uh, around the airport. Uh, more destinations. Uh, both for young families and for people in general to uh, come and enjoy the lake, uh, experience the lakefront, experience downtown, uh, maybe some more uh, diverse attractions, and then having better connectivity and linkages between downtown uh, and the lake was, was also seen as, as an opportunity. We asked about the, the vision for the future of Granbury. Uh, this was a question we asked both of, of PNZ um, and of the, the general public. Um, and some of those same themes came up, you know, maintain the, the small town charm that, that gives Granbury its identity, that gives it its character, its safe neighborhoods, maintaining that waterfront uh, presence and activity centered around the lake, uh, keep it authentic and unique, and keep it business friendly. Um, these next few slides are, are going to have some, some bubble graphs, and uh, the key here is that the larger the bubble, the more responses we got um, with, uh, with these concepts. So. Again, what do you want to be known for in 2045? Similar uh, feedback as, as to what we received from, uh, from P&Z was uh, found in the, the general public. Um, what are the biggest priorities uh, for the future? Um, no surprise, those were centered around both transportation and um, attracting visitors, making sure that Granbury stays uh, unique um, and the, the destination that, that it is today. Those are kind of the two key themes of, of biggest priorities. Again, traffic congestion stood out as a, as a big issue, pedestrian circulation, um, also housing choice, jobs and employment. That was kind of a secondary issue, but one that was consistent throughout the feedback that, that we received. Um, a lot of folks who live in Granbury have to commute elsewhere um, to go uh, to work to find jobs, um, which makes a commuting a challenge. And then what do you want to be known for um, in 2045? So this is, again, looking ahead you know, 20 years into the future, what do you hope that, that Granbury will not only preserve but continue to be known for? Um, and again, that came back to the downtown um, and the history. Um, the paper survey feedback um, that we received, uh, similar uh, feedback um, in terms of the, the assets um, with the people, small town charm, uh, lake, downtown, um, similar uh, priorities. Uh, they asked for more businesses in, in downtown. Um, there's a recommendation of an incentive for retail businesses to stay open longer um, so that you know they're not closed on certain days of the week their hours of operation are, are maybe a little bit more convenient which also speaks to the levels of activity around downtown and the vibrancy um, of having uh, a downtown where more businesses are open you know maybe into the nighttime hours or, or on the weekends um, and maintaining that vibrancy um, all year round uh, develop a comprehensive parking plan. Um, parking was identified in, in a couple of places as, as a challenge, particularly when uh, festivals or events are happening uh, around town, both places to park and the ability of people to get from remote parking areas uh, to downtown was, was identified as, as something that the plan should consider um, addressing, um, even if it's at a high level. And, you know, with a plan like this being kind of a general policy guide, a general document, we're not necessarily going to design solutions uh, for every uh, every problem, but what we want to do is, where it's appropriate, put in a recommendation that the city look at and explore those issues. And maybe one of the the things that uh, the city does down the road is is in, engage someone to design a, a solution or, or to come up with something that you know can be bid or can be funded. Um, that's absolutely something that that has a place in this plan that that we want to explore as we get into the recommendations goals implementation part of the plan um, 
Wanted to point out that there were several folks who, who listed uh, different places that uh, could serve as an inspiration for Granbury. Um, one of my favorite responses that we got is that no place serves as an inspiration for Granbury. Granbury serves as an inspiration for other places, um, which I thought was telling. Uh, I thought it was appropriate that you know if, if you live here, you probably have folks coming up to you and saying, "Well, how does my town become more like Granbury?" You know, which which is a great thing to have. Um, but in terms of other other places to to look at. A um, couple of hill country towns, New Braunfels and Fredericksburg, Panama City Beach, Florida, um, downtown Grapevine, which has um, had a lot of success in maintaining its character and, and having, a, having some good events. Um, your feedback summaries uh, may contain a, a little bit more um, information um, about different places that, uh, that were suggested, but those are some of the ones that, that stood out. As far as the folks who took the survey, um, about 70% of them either lived or worked in Granbury. 22.8% um, uh, didn't live in the city limits, but did live uh, in the ETJ, which again is a two mile buffer um, around the city limits. And then a little under 5% um, identified themselves as other. So we don't have any data on where uh, exactly those folks lived. The um, majority of people, or at least the, the largest number of respondents had lived in Granbury five years or less, 30%. Uh, twenty five percent though had lived here for over twenty years, um, so half of residents either just got here relatively speaking or they 've they 've lived here for uh, for a long time. Um, the age of respondents um, we did not have any respondents uh, under twenty five years old, so that twenty five to to forty four uh, constituted about twenty percent um, and then that proportion kind of grew as you get into the forty five to sixty five um, and then over sixty five so a little bit older representation in terms of uh, the folks who responded to the to the feedback. Um, the online feedback um, was uh, again the same questions were were asked. Um, what do you want to be known for in 2045? This was a little bit more balanced re response. There wasn't one that kind of stood out um, head and shoulders above the other one. In general, people wanted to again maintain the historic. Uh, nature of the town. They wanted to maintain its identity as a, as a waterfront community. Um, inviting streetscapes um, was one that stood out a little bit more with the online feedback. Um, what makes Granbury unique, however, no surprise there, downtown and parks, uh, I'm sorry, downtown and the lake, uh, although parks and neighborhoods um, both got votes um, along with schools. So in terms of Listing priorities, and these are in no particular um, order of importance, although traffic and presentation might be the, the top two. We did not list these in terms of uh, order of importance. Um, friendliness and cleanliness, uh, parking, restaurants, shopping, so again, maintaining that, that retail base and, and that vibrancy. Um, small business, making sure that as Granbury grows and becomes more popular and attracts more outside investment, that that does not push out um, small businesses um, who have either located here and invested here or might be looking at Granbury as, as a place where they want to put down roots and, and start a business, that there we maintain opportunities for that. Um, maintaining tourism, nightlife and entertainment. Um, again, getting back to kind of keeping things vibrant um, even after working hours um, into the evening and, and into, into weekends. Um, walkability and accessibility, improving the, the pedestrian experience. Um, again, we, we saw that on a, on a previous slide. Um, balancing growth. Um, so that kind of gets into the nature of, you know, you have your downtown area and your lakefront, but you're also seeing a lot of growth kind of on the outskirts of the city and, and how to balance that um, in terms of housing, in terms of traffic. So that's definitely one thing we'll want to we'll wanna talk about and think about as we're doing our, our mapping exercise. So this all kind of coalesced into, into five key themes, and you have this on the front page um, of your handout. Um, so it's, it's all the things that, that we covered in, in the feedback. So this is really intended to be kind of a summary of all the feedback that we received, which again is pages and pages if you look at the kind of the open-ended comments on the survey. Um, but maintaining historic uh, downtown and, and culture as a source of pride and identity. Um, enhancing and diver diversifying uh, Granbury's transportation network um, to not only move auto traffic 
efficiently, but also other forms of transportation such as walking and biking. Uh, there were a couple of comments along the lines of some sort of transit system, whether that's on demand that just kind of serves the downtown area or parts around the lake, or something that's a bit more regional that utilizes the existing rail line um, and part that, that goes to Fort Worth. Um, we did have a couple of comments along those lines that that would be helpful for commuters. Um, but just looking at things through a little bit more diverse lens as uh, the city upgrades its transportation network. Um, Granbury should actively seek new economic development opportunities, living, uh, leveraging uh, the undeveloped property uh, around the, the loop, uh, around the north part of the city. Um, emphasize strategic and thoughtful growth relating to housing and commercial development, so that gets back to that balanced growth of, of not putting too many eggs in one basket in terms of one housing type um, or uh, retail businesses, you know, which may, tain, may tend to be a little bit more fickle than, um, say, industrial or commercial businesses, having a good diverse economic base um, that doesn't exclude any one thing. Uh, Granbury should focus on balancing its small town feel with providing regional entertainment opportunities. So. This is kind of the dilemma um, of every town that wants to grow, that wants to maintain its charm and the things that attract people to it in the first place. How much do you grow um, without sacrificing uh, those qualities? And at what point do you start to leave the small town identity behind and become too much of a, of a big city or too popular? Um, that's that's kind of the the balance that we're trying to identify is you know how much more development do you do you have particularly around the lakefront before it becomes too much of of a good thing um, so keeping that balance in mind is um, obviously one of one of our important key themes so we took those those five key themes um, and what we try to do is is put that in the framework of all right what principles do we want to use uh, to guide each of the recommendations of the plan. So as the, the draft chapters come along over, over the next few months, starting with land use, transportation, housing, we want each of those chapters to have goals or actions um, that the city wants to put in place over a 5, 10, 20 year timeline, uh, which may mean you know capital investments, that may mean programs, that may mean partnering with other uh, governments or, or other um, institutions. Um, it may mean changes to your code or your incentive structure um, to uh, foster economic development. Each of those goals uh, shouldn't just exist in a vacuum. It should be guided uh, by principles that um, kind of shape the, how the city looks at itself, shapes what the city is trying to achieve. We don't have a vision statement that, that we're proposing through this. Um, the current plan doesn't have a vision statement either, but we are introducing these six uh, guiding principles. Um, which do summarize some of the input um, that we received, but it also you know, summarizes kind of things that Granbury has identified uh, about itself or that have been observed about Granbury as being uh, identifiers that, that you would want to uh, build upon, that you would want to maintain um, as we try to achieve each of the goals of the plan. Um, so this would be kind of the, the Q&A part of, of the, the presentation or the, the feedback portion of the presentation before we go into the mapping exercise. Um, we do want to see if you have any feedback on these, these guiding principles. Um, you know, if, if we don't hear everything, you know, tonight, this will be part of the next draft that, that we give you. Um, but we want to identify these at this point in the process so that when we start formulating those goals, um, we kind of have a heading that we can look at those goals through. So keep Granbury historic and attractive to visitors and residents. Better connect the historic downtown to the waterfront. Uh, let the waterfront function as a center of gravity and activity. Vastly approve the transportation network in and around the city. Diversify demographically and economically. And focus quality growth in identified um, strategic locations. So the corollary to that is that you know you have your your growth areas that you've identified. The other areas are intended for preservation. Um, that that's kind of the priority versus you know let's develop all of this area. Let's preserve um, some of some or all of uh, of this area. So again, these are high level guiding principles. You know they're they're not intended to to be specific to any one property or even specific to any one area of the city. They're kind of citywide um, principles that are meant to be a little bit aspirational um, and direct us as as we look at those goals and actions um, of each chapter of the plan. 
So this is the part where I'm, I'm going to pause and, and see if you have any feedback, any impression on these guiding principles, if you would suggest any changes or, or any different principles. There doesn't have to be six, but that makes, that makes a pretty good balance where we're not getting too, um, you know, too uh, broad, uh, but we're, we're focused a, a little bit, um, but, but also we also cover everything that, that we want to cover. So I'd love to hear any, any feedback on these. This wouldn't be your only chance to, to provide feedback, but um, we do want to identify these at this point. I'm going to get a drink of water while you all look at those. I'm assuming these guiding principles are not in any particular order here They're as well. They're not in any particular just... order, no. They're, they're not even intended to be topical, you know, necessarily where, you know, oh, this one's about transportation, this one's about housing, this one's about business. Um, it's really about how Granbury sees itself, how it identifies itself. And in 20 years down the road, you know, we would want these guiding principles to still be probably largely the same um, as, as they are today, um, despite all the changes that we will probably see in 20 years. I think you pretty much nailed what we talked about last time. Uh, Great. A lot of this is going to be dictated for us in the next 20 years. So uh, I guess the next uh, way would be to guide us toward, uh, you know, these, uh, these goals. And, and I'm sure that's the next phase or two there. Yes. We good? Those peers that were all good. No pressure. If you wake up tomorrow morning and yeah. you say these are horrible, then you're not going to hurt my feelings. Um, we want to get it right. So I'm having a question. Okay. Uh, about better connect the historic downtown to the waterfront. Mm. What do you think people are having in mind there? I mean, at this point in time, we have a certain amount of limited access from downtown to the actual waterfront. We've got City Beach. Uh, we've got a, a park with a boat landing. We don't have a marina or necessarily. We have two waterfront uh, restaurants that are relatively close. So what do you think people are asking for more here? Yeah, because that one seems kind of Pacific, pretty, pretty targeted by some, mm -hmm. not somebody in particular, but the rest of them, I don't, I'm kind of like you. We, we're kind of connected on this side. Are we trying to connect? To 144 you know where the lake is I mean that that's the only one that I thought was a little bit targeted more than the other five mm -hmm. I guess I don't know if that's the right word it, it seems to have a lot of prominence as being one of six when, yeah uh, it's not unless we did major excavations and brought you know toward the park you know uh, we opened up that area for significant boating I don't see how we can or, or get rid of a bunch of, uh, uh, you know, uh, VRBOs and so on on the lake. But uh, I, I do think that's what we had discussed, though, was uh, trying to get some manner in which we could get more boating into the downtown area. Right. Uh, that would also ease some traffic and parking issues, but also provide boaters the opportunity to uh, utilize the downtown via the, the like slips yeah the, the yeah. Day, day slips yeah exactly yeah, yeah more, the, the, more I think, public access yeah, and I, I, I think we specifically talked about that whole beach area and I don't at, know, at the, the convention center that, but right. yeah. there seems to me that there would be a, a great opportunity for some boat slips uh in that beach area you know, outside the, the swimming area there's mm -hmm. some and they talked about day docks at the convention center right. as well at one yeah. point i think that's what we were discussing. that's kind of a good idea to try to get because a lot of locals to come that might be on the lake too because we have so many people that always surprise me that live here who never come to downtown have no idea what's downtown so yeah. having slips that brought them by boat and then by foot on up to the square that's a pretty good idea well i know from my ex <coughs> from excuse me from my experience uh the family that i have that comes from out of town friends that we have that come from out of town for example they really really like to get in the boat and go to stumpy's 
you know, it's just easy to drive, but they like to go to get in yeah. the boat and go to Stumpy's. And from you know my experience and friends with Naples and so on, there's some something very appealing to the idea of being in a boat and coming up, you know, close to where the action is, so to speak. But I'm just trying to imagine as to how we would do that without that major excavation to get. Well, I, this isn't country. connected to downtown, but I think the Overstreet Landing Project, isn't it supposed to have some slips? I don't know, yes. something like that, but I don't know if that's public or private that's going to connect to shopping and restaurants and the hotel and stuff, I thought, in that area. Here, I mean, I could speak to that. It's been a long time since we've seen the Overstreet property. It'll, it'll uh, have some, but not many. Right, it's, but that's been a while since we looked at that project. But there is a, a public park uh, component. Um, the 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 docks are still under consideration, and and whether they be public or private, I I'm not certain at this point. Um, but the the current plan has the the dock slips there. Hmm? As I recall, though, the retail on that project was more in the center, wasn't it? And then it was residential around, or am I? not remembering correctly right so so that's a mixed-use project with apartments townhomes and single-family for residential as well as assisted living and then restaurants um, hotel and shopping would that shopping have canal access I, mean, I know they were planning on doing some canals the, the plan as I recall did not include shops on any of the water bodies mm -hmm. restaurants that were accessed by water or somewhere we Correct. could at least get um, to rest us. restaurants on on the waterfront and then um, park on the waterfront seems like that was all commercial on the first floor and the second and third floor were like apartments and, and stuff apartments are quite a bit of commercial there I think correct Well, that, that's great feedback, and um, you know, I, I think that that's a point well taken about you know, this, this one is maybe a little bit more specific than the others. We wanted to capture, though, the idea of taking your two greatest assets, as, as identified fairly overwhelmingly in the public feedback, and incorporating that as, as a way to leverage both of them together so that they're not separate entities. There's a comment about... Um, some folks never go to downtown. You know, they love the lake, but they don't. They don't go to downtown. How do we tie those those two things together? And you know, there's a lot of different ways. I, I think you could accomplish that. Um, you know, one one might just be the the physical linkage. You know, b between the two, maybe one is providing more more access along the waterfront. There was some interesting discussion during the open house about utilizing the lake more from a an actual transportation standpoint, purely transportation standpoint, so that folks aren't, you know, having to make that trek around the edge of the lake, you know, where there's no bridge, and driving into downtown using the lake itself, you know, whether that's water taxis or, or their own personal boat, you know, to, to traverse from one side to the other to get to downtown and, and maybe extending downtown closer to the lake um, as as an area you know a district of activity um, again that that is kind of getting into the into the details of how we implement this um, this is intended to be more high level but as a as a specific part of the guiding principles I think what we would want to look at preserving is how do we tie those two things together so that they can exponentially benefit the city and one is not focused on at the exclusion of the other or folks think I, I enjoy this one, but I don't know anything about this one, that they're actually tied together um, as one experience. Um, we can, you know, work, work on that one a little bit, think about how we might be able to, to reword that. Again, it doesn't have to be six. If, if you think the other five kind of adequately capture, um, or hopefully better than adequately capture, um, what we want uh, the plan to follow in terms of principles, um, that one can easily be incorporated into a recommendation um, in one of the chapters, um, or we can we can come back and, and try to reword that one a, a little bit differently. 
Um, do the other five, um, do they all look pretty good to you, though? Any, any comments about those? Kira, any anything else that that we didn't cover? The only thing I might recommend is, is the parking situation downtown. We've got so many events now; it's it's getting mm -hmm. pretty tough now to do the parking. And I've always kind of wanted to park in a garage a block yeah. or two off the city square. And and at that one point, it was discussed, but it never come about. I think where the old hospital was, maybe. Does that sound right? Yeah. 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 Right. The Historic Cranberry Merchants Association proposed a parking deck behind the Opera House right. to City Council in, in January this year. Right. That that may be a, a direction we can we can work on and and come back as a guiding principle. You know, maybe this this one becomes more of a recommendation and then as a guiding principle since you you mentioned a parking deck um, and the discussions that have been had with that maybe it's it's more from an economic development standpoint or partnering with um, you know other entities institutions um, agencies in the city uh, maybe from a, a partnership standpoint you know work towards economic development goals or or growing things economically that maybe. that might be an alternative yeah, I'm personally not in favor of a parking deck, at least not in that location. Yeah, it I wouldn't would be about a parking deck, just about lots parking, around yeah. the square to cut down on traffic through the square. Well, that's that's one we can we can take a look at and come up with a different alternative. So we're going to get into our, our mapping exercise uh, component, and again, this is intended to be really interactive, um, you know, sitting around a table, kind of open dialogue, open discussion. Um, we are going to have uh, one person from each table that will be um, identified as kind of the captain of the table who's going give to a, give a summary of what was discussed. So we're hoping to get, you know, 20, 25, maybe 30 minutes of discussion. Um, but just to kind of set the stage um, from a future land use standpoint and a transportation standpoint, um, we do have a few more slides here that kind of cover the, the feedback uh, that we received on land use and transportation. Um, some of the, the major ones that were identified is uh, what is missing in Granbury. Uh, this is non-residential. Um, recreational uses, you know, open space, uh, trails, um, parks. Um, could be public, could be private, um, open space, restaurants and retail. Um, also, number three there is uh, technical employment, manufacturing uh, type jobs, uh, which most people have to leave the city right now to, to go to. Uh, medical, uh, office, corporate, hotels and resorts uh, were, were one that, that came up in some of the open-ended responses as well, particularly um, around the lake, but possibly in other parts of the city. Um, what type of retail restaurant services does Granbury need more of? Uh, so the two major ones there are nicer restaurants, sit-down, full-service uh, dining, um, particularly outside of downtown, um, outdoor recreation. Um, that one doesn't need too much explanation. Um, and then uh, entertainment, and that could be any number of things that are either uh, natural or uh, based around the lake, parks, uh, but also movie theaters, um, other types of event centers. Um, healthy grocery options, um, some other large national retailers, uh, food trucks um, was one that, that came up, as well as small boutique retail. Um, so those are some ideas from the uh, from a non-residential standpoint to be thinking about. You know where some of those might be able to be located. Think big. You know big ideas. Um, think about how things could could add to uh, the character of, of certain areas. Supply what those areas uh, need right now. Um, housing, you know, what types of housing does Granbury need more of? Again, this is from the survey. Small lot, single family, residential. Um, so it's still detached residential, but maybe on smaller lots, you know, maybe 50 feet wide, uh, 40 feet wide. Um, but also large lot, single family, residential th areas where that um, would still be appropriate um, and still be needed. Townhomes and patio homes, uh, similar to small lot, single family, residential, that kind of medium range in between 
single family and the large apartment complexes uh, that we've all become very familiar with. Um, what types of housing do we need in that middle range and where would be some appropriate places for that to go? Um, I'm not going to read through all of these. Um, they are on your, your handout, but just some questions to ask as we're doing, um, as we're looking at land use, you know, what are the appropriate land uses for the undeveloped areas? So the maps that you have are largely blank because we want to kind of start with a, a blank canvas. Um, you all know the, the city, you know what's where. Um, what we want to do is fill in those blank spaces. Um, we can pull up the zoning map if we need to. These don't have zoning on them. They don't have future land use on them. So we, we do want to kind of look at it as, as a blank canvas. If we're starting you know, from scratch, what's the most appropriate uh, land uses for, for each of these undeveloped areas? Commercial, residential, um, industrial, manufacturing. Um, let's play with each of those and, and see what's, what's most appropriate. Um, we do have a bigger version of this map that we'll bring in here and set it up on a board. Um, these, this is kind of summarizing the transportation needs and issues. So we've got a number of things on this map. Um, we've got uh, development agreement parcels shown in pink. Uh, we've got areas where a lot of development is happening or about to happen. Um, we've also got um, crashes shown on this map where we had a lot of problems with uh, accidents, including uh, fatal accidents. So from a transportation standpoint, that goes hand in hand with land use. When we put land use somewhere, it's going to have effects on our transportation uh, system. Um, so how do we mitigate those effects? How do we make sure that we're not putting too many intense land uses in one place without having another connection? So think in terms particularly about 377, opportunities uh, that we have to not only not overload 377, but maybe create some parallel routes uh, for traffic to, to go through. Again, we have to navigate the city limits here. That means getting into the ETJ and working with the county. But um, to the extent that, that we can, we want to try to look at the transportation network and ideally what sort of connections would, uh, would we want to see. Um, and then as those opportunities come up and we need to work with other, other agencies like the county or TxDOT, you know, we have at least identified what's the best transportation uh, solution for the network. Um, some feedback on, on transportation, um, again, this is not too much of a surprise. We need a well-connected vehicle street network, well-connected sidewalk network. Um, we want to make some provisions from uh, bike and uh, pedestrians so that they're not mixing too much with, uh, with traffic. So that might mean shared use paths. That might mean more natural routes uh, along streams or, or creeks for them to, to go where they're not mixing in with traffic. Um, complete streets are along that, that same line where all users of the right-of-way kind of get equal consideration, whether that's cars or pedestrians or, or bikes. Um, and then some similar questions to ask during the, during the transportation um, exercise. You know, what are the areas that, that really need some, some help in terms of congestion? I think probably everybody has one or two or three or 18 areas in their mind that um, you know, we really need to improve uh, transportation in, in this area. Um, we, you know, want to identify those uh, at, at, during our mapping exercise so that we can, we can put that on the map. So um, we'll bring those boards in with the transportation issues. We already have our maps and our markers set up around the table. Um, so at this point, if, unless there's any questions, uh, before we get into the mapping exercise, we'll invite y'all to step down from the dais and um, we have six, so if three can go to this table and three can go to this table, um, and then we'll, we'll join you here and, and we'll, we'll start marking up some maps. Well, we, we, can, still, we can still bring that up. But.
We, took, we changed it rough. They wanted to go residential all the way. So to me, this would be a natural for residential right over here across, across the street. Keep, keep all this commercial here. On that side? Uh -huh. like they started well, they're already developing they residential right, right here. Right. The back is uh, uh, And they're, they're planning on going larger. So this is yeah, the absolute residential. Yeah, and again, yeah, they... The streets and stuff are there. They're putting all kinds of dust on my RV. Yeah. Every day. Yes. <laughs> of course, that new golf course is right here. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. That's the new golf course. And as usual, okay. they didn't want commercial in front. And we gave it yeah. to Okay. So that's all. all it is a private golf course for now. And this, this is property through here. here. Right. Yeah. So that's, 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 it's could they be, cut that out. That's going to be the okay. Here's the peninsula right, yeah. right mm -hmm. here. So yeah, I've been right back in here. This is all private property. Yeah. It is well, great yeah. property. I mean, uh, my RV is yeah. at well, a affordable, yeah, I mean, and so yeah. every time that's I go in or out of there, it's you know like it's. Fortunately, yeah, so there is yeah. a passage yeah. in the middle that gives you the ability to jump. Because this is it's owned. Well. Lakefront well, property, the best use yeah. is going to be residential. Yeah. You can get very much dollar for your, yeah. your so, property. And you will get the transportation. So, but I think so we'll let me, let me go back to this real quick. Right. I'm going to talk no, So, like so, so we're, we're about pretty about much saying so that everything kind of within this zone, down to 377, kind of all this node would be more. So I think what I'm hearing well, a little bit is we have a couple right, of, you know, it depends sure. on how you right. want to classify it. But now the high school is here, we right. have some school is here, right. on the Bell property. Mr. Sure. Hubble, this is area so is manufacturing, you know, interesting this conditions. area is so I think that's, that, let's talk about that. Businesses for our, for sort of our wholesale, let's talk about okay. the And this is commercial yeah. over here. Okay. You know, we have I just a lot want to kind of block some of this out. So this is real airport support, airport commercial. Yeah, but, you know, what do you guys think are... Hangers, kind of condition. Right. Or air 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 with the updated runway, the areas, but there's different for areas all like this stuff going in there in the next four or five years. Oh, yeah. And then kind of all so this area right. for manufacturing well, in, or at least. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like not the school, here, but right around yeah. here. Is this, that the one that's up this area? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's by the airport. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, this middle school is here. North high school is here. Okay. Yeah, we'll just Where's the airport? Like you're just saying in general. Yeah, yeah in general. I mean, I know we'll have to look at the yeah, specific. Sure, yeah, so but then, and then, then generally, mm -hmm. this area residential. Now, I guess okay. my question yeah, so would be: I mean, ideally, area. we all realize well, well, it's well, private that, property. So that's the industrial right? park, right? Yeah. For all and of this. There is a there is a business going. It's big. I remember being all the way to the road. Very very slow and just. 
So no, it's not real complicated. Yeah. Didn't we approve another big subdivision over here, or was it right. here? Right. Right. Was court. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. One little right. thing. Yeah. 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 They started that. Yeah. No, that's commercial yeah. along the front, right. residential yeah. behind. Right. Okay. So okay. We Fifteen did. or twenty commercial lots here along three seventy seven. Right. I'm sorry, the yeah. loop. Re retail yeah. lots. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Retail yeah. commercial. Yeah. And then I realize this is all private, but I mean, just if y'all waved your wand, this would yeah, have been uh, obviously residential. Okay. Yeah, in Tennessee, you, you build it in the and then you've got yeah, the police department not here. So, we, or is that here something to our with, uh, Right. Just the front half. We think back that is still in the front. And you said over here, you know, it's not. It's kind of I think so. Over here, we're good. good. It's yeah. ubiquitous. Yeah. 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 It's been approved by the Capital Advisory Committee. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. 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 Yep. That's all public. Yeah. Yeah. Proximity to both the railroad and the. Okay. And this is that apartment yeah. that laid dormant for two years. Yeah. What about the loop? But it is open. Right. And full, I think. Exactly. And so before we move on a little bit. We haven't wanted to put residential here. Sort but he couldn't get a driveway process. onto the loop. Do we see that as a uh, area for connections housing? Public road or private road? So neighborhood I think that's survey. never going to happen. Commercial uses. Buys the next door what, what do we think? Uh, yeah, we'll I think I heard something about that, about that in, one of the, in, in that somewhere. So that's the reason twix. that residential well, this one is, you know, development right. can happen. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's more about So is it a still in the ask? Is it residential an appropriate use? Yeah. If they work out the but any other, you know, and, uh, yeah, there are this is couch is right here, here. There that are laying around. That, 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 that is a like prime piece there's, of there's still a lot of development. There's a lot of open right spots along 377, yeah, so there's still plenty of room for you know, retail businesses yes, exactly. or commercial businesses, etc. Uh, so, but obviously. Well, I think the this development piece right here is next, yeah, is still, next door to uh, if, Mesquite Pit. Mesquite Pit. If this takes off, they've got to want a fortune. Supposedly, the airport is supposed to bring right. more We're in. We're talking about this over here. Well, then logically, right. you'd see more well, this residential is development, right. Right. and then yes. you'd see more business development yeah. in this area. Yeah, yeah. 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 Couch yeah. Over here. That's those apartments. I think the whole back right now is getting across the way. Right. Yeah, and that's where that building burns. You took a chuck once there. But really, anything. Going this the side is connected yes. to all the way to downtown. Yes. Did you know that the last transportation plan, though, had a plan so to go across? Drive, uh, well, I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah. 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 Both yeah. All right, so right let's, let's go a little bit into And then I've also heard of a proposal for the convention center. Right. Well, you know, this here is a long yeah, range. Yeah, they, right? they moved the yes, boats to the other side because BRA would have been put behind the convention center. Oh, is that right? Yeah. And, and then there are the projects got operation went up in cost to run up and get Is there anything typical? So you're talking about the main thoroughfare or whether it's tucked away. Yeah, they're going to put should public, public transit right about. Right about from its current right. use to a different use. There's a boardwalk out there. Okay, yeah, I know where that is. We should be identifying. And is that a good spot? That's a good spot. Okay. You know, obviously, this close conversation gets like more sensitive once the residents. It's close to downtown. And there's already a decent sidewalk right along here. Right. So it's walkable but to the area. So what I'm kind of sorry. Whether it's a commercial or whether it's an industrial, it's a transition kind of that problem. downtown uh, lakefront, how do we better connect that? Uh, uh, yeah, how do we better create an opportunity? Or how, how can this, do how basically what we're getting at is how can we get the plans to come down to steer our existing condition in a way that we think is more property in the city. Yeah, that too, you know. But it is workable. 377 being. Largely commercial. Yeah, it's a pretty far walk to downtown. Yeah. 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 Keep it away we from, did. Uh, you know, the I mean, none of this is a long ways off, but we did a really cool break one. There's a lot of vacant land still here on the different highway. I'm not sure I'm completely yeah. with you yeah. 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 when you said mm -hmm. this um, separate from the road. Um, yeah. It was really an amenity to me in and of itself. This is at the Texas House of Pickleball right about here. Oh, do you really? Yeah. But again, this is. All of this is all pretty, pretty, pretty backside. Backside, yeah. 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 very front. I'm sure it's pretty on the front side over here. It's crazy, isn't
Yeah, I see it every day. That's a lot, a lot of empty property uh, still on the highway. You know, okay, so, so one of the if we were to did sort of circle, if we were to sort of circle yeah. this as a corridor that we could see, that would probably now right here is that could that be something that's a lot more. Right here is that lakeside that's part of the lake landing. Yeah, it's lakeside landing, landing, and that's where the small hotel and all the commercial and residential and public all this. Yeah, I know this is already been done. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And that's not going to alter that much here because yeah. these people yeah. here, here are mostly so going blue. this way. Yeah, right. Well, they're not actually stuff. trying to go west. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. be. Could, yes, it's. I would, not, I would not call that on to me. I would dream to find that other dream. My other dream would be like this. Right. That, you know, because will somehow play with That's not going to believe the president we're talking about. Something I talked about at the work parliament. Yeah. Most people say there's two bridges across the lake. There's really three. And I hate to say this, this is my secret. But the kicker is I live up here in Abe's Landing. One, two, three. Even with the loop, they're going to bottleneck. I can come through the back roads here and come down meander. Oh, I think the bottleneck right there is that stop. That's not good for high traffic because it's a loop. And the loop coming in. It's a narrow road. And that is much more useful. But that would be a better loop. All but it's again, it's in the, the county. Yep. It's not even on and the county. They're, they're going to follow that at the intersection of okay. yeah. that's a seven. But that's so this. Like some, I, I, I remember. I, ha I have it. I'm, I'm, so I'm not right. going to get too detailed now, with this, but I remember talking yeah. about that. Yeah. Rita, didn't they, at one point years ago, you might remember this, didn't they talk about extending this loop right. straight across right? right. Yeah, and that's part of our. Yeah, yeah so I'm sure they always yeah. got tabled, I guess. Well, the county's talking about another bridge down here somewhere, but they're not going to do these things like that to sort of support in my lifetime. Let's just for that. Okay, so that one has a lot of here. Other, are there, yeah. so you, you mentioned yeah. retail, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'd be yeah. more yeah. retail yeah. on the road, but then residential yeah. in the yeah. background, do y'all agree station. with that? Yeah. 500 yeah. feet yeah. in from the road. Yeah, they've got the yeah. more to take, take care of these people over here. All they've got is brookshires over here awesome. right now. Okay. Well, so they're, 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 they're turning right there. here, like Rita says, and going up here to... It should be on Kroger. So this is this is this is So I think you're going to put a gas station. Oh yeah, that's right. You're, you're not in there. <laughs> so never mind. Yeah, do okay. you know why? And it's I think that story, that, that's good no. input for tonight because what we're talking this, about. This little piece areas of road here, Country Creek, need have the ability to develop repairs, residential mm -hmm. products. But there's no city resident business on that road. It's all that goes into the country. Traffic. Traffic. Like and so he said, County, let's split the cost on the county. So that's not a city road. So is this all privately owned? The city just annexed the road and this piece of property is asked to it. So this is the loop. This is what you're talking about here. I teach you that way. Nice county. So this is all opportunity. This is all opportunity up here. Here. And that's just outside the city. Okay. One, one, yeah, that's fine. And then right along the yellow is your city. Yeah, so and right along this line would be. No, before we get to Howard, that's correct. The thought, the almost the whole thought, the thought has always been on this side of the map, you have, you know, the ball field, the soccer field, or whatever that is. The hiking trail, the biking, it's all on this side of the lake. There's almost nothing over here. There's a small public park going in in Saratoga. But track, it's really nowhere you know, near keep, keep the big enough to over here. here. And, and, and that's here? Yeah. 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 Is that where that park is going? Saratoga is on the other side of 167. Yeah. This is 167 here. Right there. Okay. So it's, yeah, it's going. Yeah. That's meandering or something over there somewhere. Now, I also talked about maybe we could cut through over to 167 because I'm coming down meander. It's Okay, well, we talked like a little about residential. Yeah. I, if anybody I've ever a little bit built, into the commercial well, component, too. I go further north, I'd take sort like of responsibly locating uh, and associating them together. Times. Sort of when when I live in Dave's. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, you know that's, 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 that's good enough spacing for two collector roads right there. And I've been through about a foot of water there. Special areas. So are there it's kind of a broad question, but it's going to help us with the narrative. And if we need to focus on the specific area, or do we need or if there's a physical trait that we like, so that area. Okay. Maybe you know, by James Road, where the lake, lake is, and, and, and we've got to have one forming here, right? It's this sort Maybe that's a good place for some collaboration of undeveloped property. That's a rarity. So uh, uh, we the wise off of James Road. That's kind of the last thing on this James. That's James. Yes, it is. The wise right there. Okay. So this could be a bigger. Yeah, and there's some. That's county. Yeah. Okay. That's not going to be the part. I think the part is here. Yeah. Here. Okay. If I remember right. That's actually the county county land there. Of course, we're talking. I believe behind the the Y. Yes, or around the Y. It's kind of nowhere. But it could be of, a place. Yeah. And that would be. It could be. It's county. 
school district. Is this James? Oh. This is James. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. And, and, and it's, 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 it's worth noting, and of course, that will come up in our narrative of the plan and how we kind of proceed forward with it. Was it that Coral Road or was it over in this area? area? It was right along James Road. Yeah. 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 Okay. Except yeah. here. Who? Right. right. Okay. So they've still got that property. Oh, yeah. 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 Yep. Was that recent? Was that this year? That it's yeah, three, last year? Last year? Two, two years. Yeah, and there are some developments and things in place. Right. Right. I always be shocked if those holdouts are mm -hmm. probably wrapped up in that. If I regas, don't pull another. But if that goes, I'm assuming that would be time for residential. I do. Are there any other just sure, big really. picture yeah. 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 that we need to do? Yeah, so we'll talk a little bit about. Like, okay, so we've got. Job Waterfront. Is that outside the city? And we're filling in residential. And all this huh? is right where he's building that golf course? This is, this is our new emergency mm -hmm. uh, building. All this is going to be oh, car dealerships, yeah. bagel shop, and it's, a car dealership. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and then Doug told and then we just approved those 650 lots here around Garrett. So that yeah. wouldn't. Have a pretty view oh, that's on this side. Little it's little the same, same thing on this side. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's over on the other side. What he was doing on this side? No, it was the one that surrounded yeah. well, so the like are, are, these, are these the existing yeah. car dealerships? So, Doug Stewart, who developed here, he told me that he had 10 numbers. Nissan or Yeah, he's got a Chevy dealers down. Uh, well, I can't imagine yes, he's kind of want to spend his life managing a golf course. He's going to have to pay somebody to do that. That's right, because this, oh, yeah. this is four here. Yeah. Okay. Right. So this is all residential. They're more spread out. Most of it. I don't know how far back the course is but generally like residential. Mm -hmm. okay. And what about oh, really? yeah. Yeah. in the country? It's pretty sparse, but there. No, that's yeah, not that big. That's a big city. development that's already been and approved over here. That lease is. I thought it was on this side. Of the road. Yeah, I did too. That sixty-year lease is due. One that's on. It's over there by the Lake Ranieri Medical Center. That all those doctors' offices. It's over here. I thought it surrounded Garen's nursery. Yeah. Yeah. No, and, so. and backed up to Sarasota. It's, it's I agree with you. It was next door to that Lake Granberry Medical. Now, I heard that. I heard that the other golf course is coming back. Oh, I know. You heard that? I know that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I heard a. I heard a rumor that uh, somebody's going to walk back. I didn't know. Kira. Yeah. That would be interesting. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're messed up here on this. Yeah. What's this development that's uh, over by the Lake Granberry Medical Center? Yeah. 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 I thought it was. I thought it was. Sort of that that's what we. That was the original I thing, and I think that. And so I just heard my sister-in-law was over here, here, but uh, we heard that. that oh. Big development over there. Yeah. Yeah. So that's down here. Yeah. So and that's this, yeah. and then this. There's development agreement on that. And what's next door to the doctor's offices? The horse ranch. The new medical center right here. No, not that. The back down here. I don't. I've. That's a beautiful piece of yeah, property, but that's, property, all, yeah. that's all probably on the ground. If you don't put something on, like a, on a plan, yeah. it'll never happen. So, yeah. you know, this is just, we'll just call this uh, Okay. Well, I think there's just so uh, there was a mention of large lots. Yes. Okay. Where would you put large lots in the city? I mean, I could see that. You know, that's 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 well, I think that's acre lots. Yeah, it's a little bit. Oh, Remember we had two streets. And, 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 and it used to be half acre. Now, yeah. you, now you could say 65 feet wide. Yes, yeah, you could. Depends on the yeah. You know, this is all planned for different types of residential. Yeah. 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 This one is the so one that actually was large right there because we had two streets there. It had in the city and they put them in the city. Yeah, and they have a development agreement. You know, your consideration of items. I think. Really, it's the, it's the people the tend to areas. like bent water is large lots. Yeah. People tend to sort of want to be out, and, you know, out away yeah. when they have a lot. Yeah, yeah, and I, I would say that that's yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Not necessarily in the city. Yeah, like yeah. smack yeah. 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 yeah, I, 
I don't know. Yeah. I mean, because they love it right there. And that's this right here. That's the short. Yeah, but this is Okay, we. There was some development. Remember with Part E, P, J, and R. It's supposed to connect to this stuff, but I was just looking at this. But it's already well residential. Well, it's not in the city either. It's not, you're right. It's not not even in the city. So for a, for a red, for a cut, for conceptual, you know, further out, typically would be more appropriate at least for some of that is a larger store. Yeah, kind of what, is that what you guys are well, showing us here? Well, I know the issue is not in the city. Right? Was, it's only city limits uh, up next to 377. It didn't have, it was a mud water. Uh, because it, the city limits go up except for these two old that are inside the city limits there are I think fourteen islands of county land. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if this is too far out for residential or not. Yeah. Okay, where is that? Highway four again. The old highway four has an area for the There's a there's a spot right here. Is this four there is a mud that could right here. Right here, so old boys ranch. That uh, so it's like something that's a much more letter boy that passed away on that. I'd love yeah, to see yeah, that sure. development. Right. Thumb right, okay. Yeah. John yeah. Thumb right. So, yeah. so, so we're talking yeah. so what, larger what, lots. What is the objective of saying what, what you want here. to do with something yeah. that's yeah. already private? Consideration. Yeah. I don't understand the yeah. exercise. We right. can't take it from him. Right. So what if, why, why are we here? Why? Are we here? Well, well, he was in the country. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it happens. Okay, well, any other way to use Central Bank? Uh, 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 yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, then all this will be written. That's kind of it. Yeah. What you're saying well, is private you know, property. There are other strategies too. It's not just so much you know, where you, why are we even having the discussion. How much, or how much well, are we getting when it's developing? Yeah. 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 Are we making sure that it's the best? Down the road, yeah, it's, it's it, a good piece of property to use and utilize. To further the objectives of connecting the lake and things about all that. Yeah. It would be. Yeah. Maybe. I've always said that'd be good for me. There, there are certain businesses would be good on the lake. Perfect. But you have to. Yeah. Is this be a good place for a restaurant? No. Yeah. Because there's no access. Would this be a good place for a restaurant? Absolutely. From there to there. Couldn't have enough business. From four to how many? That may be true. And they are doing great place for hotel. But this, you know, I was looking at the. It's got a view. Have you, you guys redone the uh, the population data and so on and updated all that? Part of the new build is for tasks and items to get feedback. They're going to sell the whoever gives them that. Right. Yeah. 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 That's what it's all about. Because when I was reading the previous plan, uh, it looked to me like the the population of youth was shrinking. Mm -hmm. must, obviously, it must be early. Yeah, we have we have some demographic snapshots at the beginning, and then yeah, as far as our projections go. We kind of take a look at the wine right there, the land use area, yeah. the vacant areas, so, what are those densities, so, so we'll be tackling that. Later. I've been here in 19 years, and there's been such a dramatic change yeah. that, uh, are there even any in the last, since the last plan, yeah. from the uh, but not a huge influx of people. Did you see people who yeah. ever responded? Did yeah, and I, I, from what I see, all the demographics, that's what's bad. And then, of course, with Haley now, we were talking about that. Our birth rate is, is you know, falling yeah. nationally, yeah. Uh, so that, that brings a whole other Correct. Yeah. Not any real yeah. nice sort of replenish. Yeah. My son just came back from five years in Japan, and the birth rate was like, yes, I think it's out of the city. Yeah. In fact, marriage is becoming a zero And now it's all D.R. Horton. Yeah. Yeah. And Abe's Landing, where they're building out, most of the lots are, are a fifth of an acre. Oh, wow. So, so, this is so you're saying very inaccurate. Yes. Y'all yes. don't agree. And do you no. think that people that didn't know all the news that coming out online? The wrong they people showed up. And they don't know what you said. I'm telling you. <laughs> and we have everything that's small lots right now. But all she's exactly right. right. 
or yeah. 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 we've got yeah. people that yeah. want nicer houses and the so demand is there but there's there's am i right there's, there's yeah. the supply is the not there yes and those are more like I'm not sure what size they are, but they're not both the same. Oh, but no. But they're also no. very expensive. You probably aren't going to be well, out there for those and stuff. Oh, like if. This road doesn't yeah. get you know, very yeah. much. So that one in I was in yesterday probably hit well, 5 million. So there are certain areas that we make that make sense to be larger lines. So it's not really you do have right that. Right you have small areas. Oh, you know, mean, I cut through. Yeah, it's got very little more big and small. But still, that's not hard. The challenge with large lines in the city limit is what the City makes them do. Yeah, but concrete I'm concrete streets, folks around here, and myself, curb and gutter, you get sidewalks, dry, sidewalks, and, like 377 and, right right there and, yeah. and, and it would be nice to be able to go far. And that decreases the cost. <laughs> yeah, this uh, where a lot stops. And, stop. the and so the builders, I mean, in A planning, again, the new houses are 400 to 600. Would you say no reason? Except for like when you go into like other ways, like Little Ridge and Keep it down the streets that have been hatched like five times, and you've got five. Yeah, you mean past yeah, four? Yeah. 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 They don't look like they match the house. Yeah. It looks no. like okay. a way to come in. Right. And then you got these really nice houses. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Correct. It's so like going to here. it's like going to Lucas property out there off of Mambrino. Well, you pass four trailers right before you get to the. Yeah, if you look at Abe Manning from the original yeah. plat to the current plat, they kept shrinking the lot sizes. Oh, they were they were small from the beginning. I lake front, but yeah, the lake front were, were much bigger. Correct. And you go to the original yeah. phases, the lots of on time one of them pretty decent yeah. size. Keep going. Front, okay. fifty foot. So three hundred yeah. foot. Yeah. So we talked a little yeah. bit about well, some, you, some pain points, right? We've got a couple here that we've already called out. Years is one of the What other? Areas of concern. Are there that immediately jump off the page? Yeah, could you do it? Yeah, I got it. That's 55 and older, and it has struggled. Traffic wise? Yeah, traffic wise. And then let's talk a little bit about I want to talk a little bit about alternatives, too. Well, right now, after he died, it tied everything up for two years. Yeah, but it's still 55 and over. It is. But let's talk. It is. I've got two friends over there. It's right next to the wastewater treatment plant. Also, uh, and we know that there are stretches uh, and right it's just water like natural, the bottlenecks. Yeah. Water in natural um, conditions. Yeah. Water here. Yeah. As far as okay, okay. okay. here's the water edge. Here's the wastewater treatment plant. It's right here. here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's those two long streets going yeah. right here. Okay. Right. No, it's five, seven years. Right. 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 No, it's, no, it's this property right here. Right here. It's good. It's this right here. Yes. Yes. I think this. We talked finger and there's some strategies. Oh, thank you. I didn't pick that color today. Yeah. <laughs> Better accommodate that. <laughs> you got the way it extends. Just keep it sorry. Anyway, I'm just saying that there's some in the works. It's, uh, it's probably not even 20%. Yeah. You know. <coughs> I think it was on the list before. I, I think that was one of those it was one city of county. If you could get areas. rid of the 55 yeah, restrictions, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and again, but what about the wow. Dolce Vita? And those are pretty nice little houses. People, yeah, they, they are. are. I mean, yeah. Huge. I have no idea what they stand on that. that looks, if you're going I would say that's going to have a bank on it. It's got to go bank What's that now? The Dolce Vita here on the waterfront. This right here is really bad. Oh, they've been having one. And this is more This is more westward congestion. Yeah. Yeah. Based on the parking lot, they got to go bankrupt. This subdivision right here. Well, they hadn't even. Yeah. I've tried to sell houses there. Really? You basically have to turn left and go right. We don't have to turn right and go left. When you get out of there, you got to turn and go left. We don't have any. They're talking. We're going to have one of those 48 four story buildings. It becomes a lot of homes. Those are town homes. Because people will take it. When they were here, they they decided they're going to sell them. Is that the name of it? Could you square that up? It's where they used to shoot the fireworks. like that. So does this not yeah, work and then you're, uh, you're not you focusing really everything right here. It is age restricted. It's age restricted. I don't know. It's a pretty price. Yeah, it's the relative north. They're small and fast. Yeah, they're little. 
I always turn here to go here because my sister in law lives over here. Well, maybe you close this. It took them yeah. what five yeah. years to yeah. build it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think a lot of it's still from the south. To where the intersection is less. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's a more typical. typical. Well, I'm just so saying. Let's go. We'll chalk that up. Those, those yeah. that <laughs> but the more lights you put in here, yeah. it just makes this worse because you've got this merging in from town and coming in. I don't know that you can at all. How can you? Yes. So those are all things. That well, don't you be there was a plan development, so the yeah. city council could have said no, but when they said yes. Owners, this is going to be challenging to get across. Right there, so. You can get it to well, get across it this way. Idea. You know, to cross. If you're coming from this you know, way, it's it easier to get out than it is to go over. Yeah. And it ended up not. Well, I guess it like depends on the time. You're waiting orders to build big lines, so they tell us that the city's requirements are very much so. That they can't market them. So it's top traffic. So right. Go yeah, because yeah, there's, there's well, no signal here, right? right. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. they can put in on a crappy asphalt road <laughs> exactly. and open yeah. ditches. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Well, the bottom line is the more houses they can build on a even here, land, the more money they can get. Yeah, I mean, that just makes sense. That's really going to be the project going out in the but we, we have, have a real problem with, with really yeah. nice houses here. Yeah. 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 Okay. We have a lot of mediocre yes. houses. I remember what we They're did with the impact fees for water and sewer. Right. That went way up. Is there anywhere we can specify water? Uh, Old Greenberry Road. Do you remember that? I mean, again, mm. for future where, where is that? Use. I want to say. Well, I've always said. Do you have the flexibility to say at least So stand in that like that? Development comes up and you realize that's something fantastic. So you close this. Yeah. 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 And they're doing that. Why? Because they're putting this. Uh, yeah. With that well, I, I would say the, water well the waterfront areas, we, we should encourage larger lots. It's there, not going to happen there because the builders want to cram those waterfront houses they in one on top of another. Yes. Road at that's that's exactly right. right. He lived in a waterfront lot in Abe Landing where, I mean, you could stand between the house with your arms outstretched and touch them both. I sold the house because it was the lot was 50 foot wide. My next door neighbor would get drunk and leave Willie Nelson up for how all night. I couldn't sleep in my master. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't John Mayer, so was it? Not actually, okay. there's I'm not going to mention it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's identified that's 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 Yeah, let's talk about that. That's 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 that would do what that's you're doing there and just do it. Yeah, then you're not jig So that you can get to the line. Yeah, I mean, you see on the on the safety map, all these exits are crashing. Behind Dairy Queen, it needs to go up to the line so everybody can get in here. Yes. Get off the 377. All the way around. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Get all these yeah. people Expect off. Serious okay, so where's that? Yeah. Well, well, I know it's hard so to tell. Well, well, if it comes yeah. through here, when it's through here, then it goes into a shopping, shopping center. Well, it can right. go around. It can go around by Stonebury. It but goes around. There's always a, a rear end. And then the Dairy Queen stops at this. Is this is the Walmart. Yeah, we need it. It's under water's head. Back to follow oh. down on the bridge. Yes, it needs here to be. Here it is, right here. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. Right yeah. Here. Yeah. 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 The corner yeah. where Kroger so and HUB is. Yeah. 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 It's just a. You can sit there and see one every day. Yes. Yes. So that people, all these subdivisions over here can bail off if there's something going on. Which intersection is that? Many times. Is this right there? No, so what we do is, if anybody knows, you take yeah, Hill Street one? across here and this around. One. Yeah, yeah. Okay. this one. Yeah. Well, that's what we all do. Yeah. 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 I think people get used to that intersection a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. But it'd be still, nice to have that. It still gets a zero rear end. The line of the left turns is weird. In front yeah. of that, in front of that of new apartment. And all the and it stops right there. And it'll wait. You'll sit there and leave three times. I just think there's so much distraction, you know, with HEB and with uh, Kroger and so on. So I mean, I'm an expert at running into the back of end of the people. So when I was younger, I'm a totally, I'm totally ADD, and so I'm always looking over this. But you know, I think it's an important thing to make. Yeah, at least it kind of creates a back and forth. And then we're gonna have all these something, some strategy that we can work on to introduce in these areas. Build walls. Yeah, wall off the view. I've actually tried to get a break installed on the dash over on the wide side. That's just so one thing. 
Yeah. You make it to heal, but you still. Uh, okay, well, let's talk a little bit about. You know, I've got a couple of. There's no way I'm going to be able to repeat this. So you're going to. No, don't worry, I guess. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about no, other modes right. of transportation. What you mean, okay, so what are other? What are some of those other like little that. fixes that make yeah, a what, fix that's, that's a big area. That's, that's a big big. That's a big This is an area of concentration. Yeah. This kind of because it diverts yeah. traffic yeah. back out here on 377, which further complicates our issues. And again, Over Street. Yeah, it was a dead end the downtown water What's the name of that across town? Well, the only, trail that, the only trail that we have is really kind of limited. You want to extend across the water? You know, from Chamois Park. Yeah, your best opportunities are generally going to be... On that side, we actually called Old Right, your right-of-way is already connected to somebody somewhere, so typically those are your best opportunities. Same thing as Water's Edge on this side. Yeah, but they don't call it that on that side. Unless they shut the railroad down, and then we can push it. Yeah, you never know. What are other little... Right there, yeah. Right over here. Yeah, I don't think that railroad's going to shut down. Yeah. 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 That's where it's all from. It makes sense. I always said, if I could just get to work on the street. Yeah, but it's really sick. I could get right over here. I could just get over here. Would you like a bridge here? I would like a good charge there. Or a fair water ferry. You need a little back and forth water station. Because we're limited on traffic. Yeah, 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 we're limited on traffic. And every intersection, all the way through this corner, uh -huh. every intersection, where there's a line, they went forward. Where it's Shirley Cook's, when we need like a receiving ramp. Yeah. The meander right. up to Reed is kind of the connection we're talking about. It's a good square. It would be better to take it with Temple Hall Highway, because Temple Hall is already a highway. Yeah, because I've seen in front of the field. It would be better to somehow connect. Breathing here yeah, to here. Yeah. 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 Because it gets a lot of curves down through the end. Yeah, most of the time they do that because that's just the mm -hmm. spec. Okay. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, but it's better than, than not a good idea if we did want to make those connections. Okay, anything else? I never thought of it. Young kids riding their little scooters. Yeah, yeah. Hit battery towers. Right. And they're cruising down the highway. Yeah. 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 It connects over so, here so with um, the light and power drive. Yes. Yeah. But I don't know how that works. Is this is you know, right? sometimes it's... Oh, that's 144. It's just a drive to... Um, yeah, that's a good thing. Sometimes if the county is hard enough, usually the will be extended on the right away. Just kind of depends on, yeah. Yeah. on how serious it is. Is this it? Yeah. Where's the high school? No, I... Yeah, I hear you. High school is right yeah. here. Yeah, it would be right Something there. Like so pirate, this is pirate here. There's a line. There's a lap there, right. and it's right across. It's not even, that road's not in here. Yeah. No, this is, it. this is pirate, yeah. that weird curve. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that is it. Right. Yeah, so they always They want to extend pirates down. Oh, and we get that. Yeah. I think for us, it's more so yeah, as a streets old, down as a here. legitimate by, um, by auto as well. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, it go right by the school? Is it possible? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's not auto yeah. yeah. You know, those are the sidewalk connections. So you're yeah. saying connected yeah. people yeah. here yeah. down to 144. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's kind of the best way to manage traffic. It's number It's number Some of these real specific issues. Sometimes you can build yourself out of major fatalities and stuff. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't figure it out why the fatalities are reaching. So, yeah, we've talked a little bit about that. Is it all marked? I mean, is there anything that you see that's a real problem areas that... What is that? What is that? Yeah, so whether it's... Rex designated by plan and the bridge. It kind of, it can be so every every kind of intersection plan. Mm -hmm. Three seven yeah, seven sometimes it's like a scooter has rips right. because uh, people aren't paying not attention to the extent. But, it would be like a private thing. It likely wouldn't be like, like when the company's yeah. coming, yeah. like a bird. Two it's left turn right. That screws so many people up. That's coming from unless 
coming from really uh, uh, south to north and uh, turn uh, left yes. there. Yeah. But I, I was assume assume that that particular, yes, I assume that. I remember not a lot of traffic I was living in Austin when they yeah. turned in like, different ways. They just yeah. got dumped on okay. the streets. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Yeah. 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 It was really yeah. incredible. It's like one morning. We finally got a lot of cities. Oh, for sure. And then they went away. Find them in the bottom yeah. of the lake. <laughs> <laughs> people are, probably, people yeah. are crazy. They probably here that would happen. So, uh, Kids that take them to the lake. Yeah. 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 They're better than they used to be. So it's uh, it's called a micro mobility no concept. And that's one that comes all the way up through here. Yes. Yeah, but the yeah. worst part of it is it, from, it has a place and from the angle of the hall to look. Tipple Hall Hallway. Yeah, it's really so it's highly traveled. We didn't really well, talk, the talk a lot about expanding yeah. retail in the it's downtown area. Yeah. Yeah. So from uh, there to wherever we end up. Because unless you're on the stand, this is. Morgan Street or Park Street. Yeah, this is it's terrible. Really this, is this, is terrible. Right. this is the new wastewater yeah, treatment facility. Right. 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 There's, there's a right. traffic yeah. study. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah. That's, that's a good right point. Down. I think well, another good stretch. thing to talk there's about. Just, and with that in people mind is stuff if we were to introduce some new commercial stuff, you probably want to fit the the aesthetic. Right. You'd hate to have just kind of a random commercial unit plot down. In between yeah. your downtown areas. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, Transportation wise, particularly in these. But I mean, basically, areas. it's the square. Um, right. You know, yeah. and so it's, it's limited by what is on the square. Exactly. Areas yeah. of development. And, uh, so, it, where are you saying there's maybe some interest in what's the green expanding, expanding the service? Well, well the only the only question would be is whether you take the potential new development. Uh, um, I've obviously uh, talked a lot about this, and the loop kind of covers that. You know, the area the toward the beach. Uh, uh, it's just you know, where, some general areas of where we what go. Is it? I can't remember the name of the house now. But, and you know, this there's one. There's the little chapel, and there's mm -hmm. that. But it's all a park area now. But oh, uh, David's? Lying in the center. Is it this? Yeah. LA, in the LA and across from Stump. And I don't know whether we want to give that up, but it's because um, it's used yeah. for. No. I mean, Granbury is. No, these are just sort of general. Well, areas I'm just where saying we if you were looking for the ability on, to, so let's say, expand the square. You know, the square is a square. Well, what if it was a rectangle? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Or two squares yeah. side by yeah. side. Yeah. 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 Two competing yeah. Yeah. Yes. And that's Saratoga. But Saratoga has a connection called Skylark. Sky something. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of this weird, like, choke point of it. Okay. It goes. Well, it's already there. I'll call it something else because I just pulled it up. Okay. We'll figure out what that's going to be. That's still just more cool than you got. Okay. I would like, I would like to see some kind of connection. Right. That would be a spot that I think. Well, we've always talked about that main um, road going through. Yeah. And so that's, that's, that's this right. general area right, right now. Right. They're in and out right, right there. General area yeah. square yeah. expansion. Acting down. Because I actually yep. thought about the little park down there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That would be a neat spot to, we were talking about boat traffic. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. It has a little water okay. front. If you could do because like, uh, they talked about if there was a fire or something on that one in and out there that would stop all the traffic. If, if, if this was all completely navigable, oh, no. now you got hold of the whole thing. What color? You can end up in the belt in the grid. Yeah. And you can get up. That's pretty good. I've actually taken a boat all the way to the city. The water is up. Really? So you can get. We're going to do about five more minutes. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Yeah, we'll start. <laughs> but I don't think you need to go that deep because that part is like that. That's a. So I'm just going back to this idea of making the waterfront more accessible to the city. You know, it's like, I was thinking that if you had that water taxi or where the, where the beach is, and you took it all the way over to Stumpy's, you have a water taxi. And so, all the residents. So, this guy right here, or just don't even know. And just going back and forth doing trips back. If you have all residential here, you can take all these residential okay. here. That's one of those I didn't draw on this. If there was a possible public Over here, like, what do we, what do we see here, this right being? Away I know you said right. it's not. It's just kind of dead. Just, water water just dead end. Yeah. 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 yeah, that, that yeah. could That's be a good landing spot, spot yeah. to get to downtown. Because yeah. Cleaver Street used to be the old river. Everybody's going there anyway. Right. Before we had a bridge yeah. back in the day. Oh, across the river. That's why. Cleaver Street, every side of the people. Oh, that is a boat. 
slips. Right here was the B tier, but they kind of. It's like a walkway. Yeah, there's one little dock there you can pull up to, but uh, yeah, there's a, there's just something about being able to pull up, pull your boat up to. Those are popular places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody wants to eat on the water somewhere. That's right. That's right. My son-in-law. got You know, I want to. I want to go to Stumpy's. I want to get the boat. I want to go to Stumpy's. Yeah. You know, we've driven her talks on that Facebook about that tractor laying on the side of that's marketing. Yeah. 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 Something in there with entertainment and water from the restaurant or something. That's a great. It's a, I think they did. Remember they did it for some fucking that was um their house. Is that privately owned now or is that city owned? Jim was on Well, yeah, I don't know what that means though. Like I said, I couldn't repeat this of my life depending on it. Sounds like Jim, you're, you're flaking out. I'm <laughs> flaking out on you. Are you kidding me? I know there's a serious. Yeah. You guys, anybody want to want to present some of our key findings? Yeah. 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 Okay. Looks right. like we did a lot more work than they did. That's true. Yeah. We don't. We don't. I don't know. I would think maybe we did some some opportunity areas and then maybe some of your choke points on your transfer okay. stuff. I like this is a great one too. I would bring this one. I'll get this. Let me get this mounted. Yeah. Well, guys, thank y'all. Yeah. 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 Oh, is that so? Oh, I'm trying to connect the biking trails and all that. We, oh. tried, we talked That's about trying to take the bike trails yeah, over here and connect them to this side of town. A couple years ago, we did just, that. Just yeah. drops off. That was the past. The past. Usually makes pretty decent. Uh, and so we've got a, a well, gentlemen, thank you guys. I'll get this mounted for you. And with the 377. Oh, <laughs> um, the 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 so that gives it a nice You've got a lot of history, you know. And yeah, that's, I mean, I've, I've, yeah. I've, yeah, we didn't talk about yeah. sidewalks. Yeah. 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 I've seen it part of transportation. Yeah, sidewalks everywhere. Four years. My my whole world for the last ten years has been Harbor Lakes. Yeah. this on a board and then your designated table captain will explain what y'all talked about. The whole time? The, the P&Z chairwoman, <laughs> chairwoman is on your team, I noticed. It's true, but Are the, their captain? microphone's by Randy. We nominated him. I always no. have a microphone. I don't want a microphone. I nominated Richard. And I am nominated yeah. Richard. <laughs> I just say jump in there, whatever you have to say. Are they going first? No, you're going first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this table wants to go first. Okay, we're going to go first. We can go home before midnight. <laughs> We, we looked at the map, we looked at the areas. Uh, some areas are, are fairly obvious, like around the airport should definitely be, be airport-related businesses. Uh, north of the airport, off the end of the runway, we don't want residential there. There'll be nothing but complaints. Uh, there's a possible new, new business coming in that Lance LaCour has been working on. Uh, 280 acres, 200 jobs, if, if it ends up here. It's still a million things that can go wrong, but if it gets here, it'll be great. Uh, other than that, we, we, on the main thoroughfares, we generally want retail commercial along the frontage, so on 144, on 377, and a lot of the open areas, we, we said residential. We talked a lot about how do we encourage larger lots, and we don't have a good answer to that. Uh, as we all know, the city requires concrete streets and sidewalks and curbs and gutters and stormwater management, and all that costs money, and so the developers... Uh, say, okay, to make it make a profit, i got to have smaller lots, and we see that all the time. Uh, we talk some about transportation as well. Um, we, we really want to extend Crawford Court down to Water's Edge. 
uh, Overstreet Boulevard as it gets built as part of Lakeside Landing will we'll turn around over to Water's Edge as well, giving relief routes from 377. Um, we, we talked about the, the southwest loop the count, that's on the county's transportation plan because it run, mostly runs through the county, although I'm not holding my breath that that ever gets built because it's expensive and uh, the county doesn't want to spend money on anything. And it probably won't relieve as much. And, yeah. Uh, we, we got into the county and said, okay, is there a way to get from the northern side of town to the east side of town without crossing the lake? And there sort of is now through Reed Road and Meander Road. Uh, it's not a real good route. It's narrow two-lane roads, but it'd be nice to have a, a, a hook, a, a, a loop through there over to not not uh, Meander Road, but go all the way over to Fall Creek Highway, which is a, I'm sorry, Temple Hall Highway. Thank you, and a better road and one that the state DOT is improving, so it'll be handle handle the traffic better. Um, we we talked some about lakefront. If if there's vacant property with lakefront. Generally, we said that that's prime residential property. People want lakefront houses, except for uh, the ones right by the uh, Business 377 bridge. Uh, there's some vacant land there. That would be ideal for a restaurant or, or other lakefront business. Or yeah. <laughs> or hotel, says yeah, my... my Yeah. And uh, that covers the highlights. Anything to add, team? I, I'd release some slips, mm -hmm. something near the conference center. We think that those other two properties at the bridge will be too Yeah. Yeah, we were all over the map. We had, I got to go. I go. Is this thing working? Okay. I'll, I'll try to point stuff out. I don't know. Okay, we, like you, went to the same thing with the uh, industrial complex um, over by the airport and the Durant property as well, trying to, you know, use that for development of uh, commercial industrial areas there. Um, talking about, again, waterfront properties, and we like the idea, we we're talking about, like you're talking about water access to the downtown area, and with this new complex coming in at the Overstreet property, we were talking, man, if we could get some like water taxis would be really cool to get some people coming from this shopping center over to downtown, like where the city beach is or on Cleburne Road. Let them, the let them off at the conference center, that kind of stuff. And go back and forth would be really cool. And then it could come all the way over to Stumpy's, you know, or um, the Rock and S area on the other side or, you know, a couple spaces in between that could, could co connect one end of the lake to the other and to downtown. So for um, residents, you know, people that live here as well as tourists that want to shop in that fancy shopping center when it comes in. Um, other thing we talked about was, oh my goodness, where else? Oh, the chunk of land north of, uh, on the other, between the lake and the loop where the new police station is. Right. And if that, that would obviously be room for potential uh, waterfront property residential along there and then probably some residential, you got those apartments that are right there. There's a water something there going. Uh, behind the police station is going to be a, a drinking water plant and a wastewater treatment plant. Okay. But the rest of it is all prime. It will be prime going back to the back end yes, all the way down to Porter Road or whatever that is. Um, and then as far as street-wise, we were looking at, we know, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but we had something where they're going to do Davis Road and push Davis Road all the way through to Old Granberry Road. We do something like that. They nix that. They nix that? Mm -hmm. yep. Well, why? Because that would be a good idea. <laughs> it was a good idea. Okay. Well, what we were thinking was everybody uses Old Granberry Road as a getaway. If there was some way to ease the intersection where it connects to 377 to make it less dangerous, I hate to say another light, that's why Davis Road made perfect sense because there's already a light there to relieve to where you could use 
um, Old Granbury Road as that relief road. It makes a lot of sense, but for some reason, about a year ago, yeah, they're, put, they're putting a light where you turn to go to Granbury Golf Course, which is just this side of that intersection. Okay, okay. That's, that's a text dot plan. That's their plan. And then our also, our thought was with all the residential no, heading out towards Saturday. Saratoga, yeah. we're talking about where the other go residential going towards system. Saratoga, if they could extend or move uh, a roadway or something to go back out to Fall Creek Highway behind Saratoga. I don't know what's going in over there. To go, yes, but coming out of Saratoga. I was talking like coming out of the, um, coming from, where'd it go? Old Gray, or old Acton Highway, and and yeah, from the from Acton Highway through there. Yes, we we like we that. got yeah, back, yeah, back part of it. Back yeah, coming so that you could basically take Old Acton Highway and go all the way to Fall Creek Highway instead right. of having to go through downtown bypass or downtown Acton. I call it downtown, but Acton, right. but cut through that and then head out. That that might because everyone already you know, we already kind of use if you if you're familiar using Plaza Drive to sneak past all that stuff and then hit Old Acton Highway and then take the back way Old Acton Highway till it intersects with the new Acton Highway and then just kind of keep going. Um, what else are we looking at? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went to it. I had a showing in. Yeah, I had a showing in Dacordova this weekend, and I actually took the old Acton Highway because it was faster than going down 377 to get to HEB intersection. So it needs to be improved, right? And once it's improved, then there's room for improvement along that road as well for commercial along there and residential behind it mm -hmm. and a few few patches in there mm -hmm. so that was our thoughts i think that's yeah, that's a pretty good coverage that the other day and it backed up like crazy everybody was over there all right good job thank you everybody um i think we can just go ahead and close the meeting from here um, and, and adjourn. I did want to point out kind of our next steps over the next couple of months. We'll be taking your feedback, um, putting that um, on a real map that we can show you um, in a couple of months when we come back to you. Um, we'll coordinate with city staff on uh, the dates and times for that, um, but that's what we'll be spending our summer doing and putting together a transportation map um, so really appreciate your, your feedback tonight. Uh, we got a lot of really good insight um, on land use and transportation. So if there's no other questions or, or any other comments, then okay. I think this was the last item on our agenda. It is, so anything else, Cody? If not, the, if no for the business, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for coming.